This is Take 5 with Bentley, Nevada. In the studio with me today is Darren Evans. And Darren, I've managed to forget your title, so why don't we start with that? You can explain your title and also what that really means in terms of what you do every day. Sure. So yeah, this is Darren Evans. Uh, I'm just rounding out 23 years at Bentley, Nevada. I'm currently the hardware commercial leader for the business. So that role, I'm focused very much on our whole hardware product portfolio. Um, But over the last three and a half years, very heavy focus around Orbit 60. That's our next generation condition monitoring and protection platform. And really in my role, I'm a, uh, I'm, I'm a liaison between the sales team and the factory and uh, getting input from the field, from our own sales managers, our own field service engineers, customers on what they're looking for for the next generation platform in the marketplace, and really ensuring that we're developing something that can really align to what the marketplace is needing. So very exciting time for Bentley Nevada to release this next generation system and uh, very excited to talk more about it in the further episodes here. Darren, I heard you mention that um, you've been on the Orbit 60 project three and a half years. Does that kind of mark the beginning of the project? So are we all the way back into about, what, 2019, 2018 for the kickoff? Yeah, pretty much. There was some vision before that, obviously, on the product. We were probably two years before that. There was some engineering work being done to get the platform defined. But about three and a half years ago is when we really went out to the market and started getting customer feedback and really over 200 interviews around the globe on what customers were really looking for. And that was really marked that effort and the development cycle started at that point. Now, were you personally involved in that uh, kind of interview and customer feedback process of you know, those 200 interviews? Absolutely. Uh, I traveled throughout the world, visiting multiple different customers, different types of customers. So oil and gas, we looked at power generation customers, industrial markets. And we also try to get a strong variation of different customers with different applications. For example, traditional power generation type of equipment, turbo machinery, compressors, recip compressors, and also even in industrial markets like pulp and paper applications with paper machines. Try to try to get a very wide variety of different applications and feedback. And out of those 200 interviews, I mean, I'm sure you got tons of information, but what were some of the big themes that it kind of coalesced to? Sure. The number one thing uh, by far was cybersecurity. Um, if you talked about the pain point that most of our customers and most of the users of our systems have, it is around getting access to the data and, and being able to access the data from their offices, remote locations, and really getting the full value out of the platforms. So with Orbit 60, that was one of the main design criteria was around cybersecurity. And of course, there was a strong other variation list of things that customers were looking for. Uh, scalability of the system, uh, more channel count, smaller size system to fit in more compact uh, type of enclosures. But I can go on and on. There's a tremendous amount of feedback we got through those interviews. Well, later in uh, this series of episodes, we're going to be talking about kind of the big three. And there were actually even some trademarks that emerged from that in terms of cybersecurity and a kind of a virtual backplane that resulted, I think, in this new architecture, one other. So we'll have a chance to revisit each of those in uh, quite a bit of detail. Now, believe it or not, we're just about out of time for this podcast. But in the next one, what I'd like to do is to drill down into the architecture a little bit. Historically, Bentley Nevada's had rack-based systems that each module had its own processor, if I understand that correctly. And the new architecture is moving in a little different direction with Orbit 60. Do do I have that right? Absolutely. So we've gone to more of a a centralized processing approach, which really uh, adds a lot of benefits to the way we can deploy this system across the long durations and distances, but also how, how scalable the system is from a channel count perspective. And most importantly, it makes it more economical as you scale out the system. Okay, well, that's a perfect segue for our next episode. You've been listening to Take 5 with Bentley, Nevada, a Baker Hughes business.